today on Lumen Christi Television Network. Today being the 20th day in January is a very special day and even more special for the church in Nigeria as we commemorate Blessed Michael Cyprian Iwene Tansi, a Nigerian. And Lumen Christi Television Network is glad to give you a detailed background of Blessed Tansi. Michael Cyprian Iwene Tansi was born in Aguleri, Anambra State, Nigeria in September 1903. He was the first son of seven children of his father and born to a pagan home. His father having married two wives, the first gave birth to Iwene and his brother before she died. The father married again and had five more children, a male and four females. Michael as a boy was blinded in one of his eyes as a result of a mad fight with other children. As a boy, he was sent to a Catholic mission school by his father in order to help him alleviating the burden of poverty on the family and in order not to be taken advantage of, considering an ugly experience he had with the white foreigners who once held him hostage with some other men because they went to plead on behalf of a relation who was imprisoned by the same foreigners. Michael automatically became a Catholic as a pupil in the school he was enrolled and was baptized in the year 1913 with the Christian name Michael. Upon graduating, he became a teacher and worked as a teacher and a mission catechist from the year 1919 to the year 1925. Michael attended the seminary from 1925 to 1937, at a time when European priests strictly admitted only a few because they felt that in spite of having been converted to Christianity, a lot of Igbos were still steeped in pagan culture, and even the few who were admitted were trained under very hard regulations and for the slightest fault could be dismissed from training for the priesthood. And so the best men were chosen for the priesthood. No wonder Michael was seen as a perfectionist in everything he did. His family was not happy with his going to the seminary as the family was poor and desperately needed his help. But Michael felt so strongly that God was calling him to be a priest. Having been ordained in 1939, Michael worked in four very large parishes, which were in his hometown. As a parish priest, Michael refused to live the flamboyant lifestyle that characterized the priesthood at that time. He lived an austere life in comparison to other priests around him. His lifestyle shocked and amazed the Nigerian Catholics who were not accustomed to this kind of priest. He became extremely popular and loved in all the parishes he worked. He organized the community to help the poor and the needy and he personally helped people build their homes and perform other projects. He was very good at building homes and taught people new techniques with mud bricks that were copied and used by the whole community. He was remembered as always being very kind. Michael was known to discipline students who did not work hard in school or who went late to school. He also stood against oppression of women within the traditional culture and advised women to fight back against those who would rape them or mistreat them. Once he was known to have been involved in a fight where a group of males attacked a female parishioner 
was rescued and afterwards ensured justice was served in court against those assailants. He was known to be very militantly opposed to some aspects of traditional pagan culture in Nigeria, especially the masquerades. His hostility to them and their traditional culture may have been intensified due to the fact that his mother had been murdered under the claim that she was a witch and had caused mischief. Michael was known to give the community many teachings and pieces of advice about the right way to live their Christian lives practically. Michael later in his life started nursing a great desire to be a monk. At the time, there were no monasteries in Nigeria and the bishop interested in the idea of sending some candidates to a monastery in Europe who would become monks in Europe and later would return to Nigeria to start up the first Nigerian monastery. Michael was one of those selected for this project. In the year 1950, Michael joined the Trappist monks of St. Bernard in England, where he later took his vows, taking the name Cyprian. At the monastery, he lived a very ordinary and normal life that no one knew how much he had achieved in the Nigerian church. At the monastery, he often had to go through sufferings, which included the cold weather, which was quite different from where he came from. His novice master was very hard on him and all the other new monks, which caused him a lot of stress. Being a perfectionist, he was always sensitive to criticism, and his novice master always found things that were wrong with what he had done. This caused him a lot of suffering and it was during this experience that he began to think that he had made some mistakes in Nigeria with the hard discipline and expectations he had placed on the people under him. He was found not to be very intelligent as he couldn't follow some of the readings in the monastery and who asked questions that were out of place. He also could not memorize the songs which the monks sang every morning at 2 a.m. after getting out of bed and would always make up for them as he sang. In spite of all the discomfort and suffering he had to go through, he was known to be a man of great faith and humility, absorbed in prayer and a living example of patience as well as charity. He never had any intention to go back to Nigeria and he expressed openly his desire to die at Mount St. Bernard Monastery in England. Early in the year 1964, Michael was diagnosed with aortic aneurysm and he died two weeks later on the 20th day of January 1964. After being recommended by Francis Cardinal Arinze, who was inspired by Tansi as a boy, having been one of his students, he was beatified by Pope John Paul II on the 22nd day of March 1998, where the Pope said, Blessed Cyprian Michael Iwene Tansi is a prime example of the fruits of holiness which have grown and matured in the church in Nigeria since the gospel was first preached in this land. Dear friends, on this day being the 20th day in January, chosen by the church as his memorial day, Tansi is remembered the world over and on this day in Nigeria, the church celebrates a feast of one, considered its first beatified Christian faithful, and in time to come, its first canonized saint. 
Blessed Michael Cyprian Iweni Tansi shines as a model for the Nigerian priests, the religious and Christian faithful that the journey we make towards heaven, our eternal home, is after all possible and also attainable. Blessed Cyprian Michael Iweni Tansi pray for us. Thanks for staying with us once more. Happy Feast Day, especially to all Nigerians. Do join us again. Thank you.